What's up everyone, Apple Orchard here, and today I'm going to be comparing the speed of HomePod OS 16.1 and 16.2. Now why exactly am I comparing it? Well, Apple actually updated the architecture for HomePod OS. So I'm going to be doing various tests and seeing which one is faster and how much faster it is. So let's get started. So I have my iPad right here, and here is proof that I currently have HomePod OS 16.1. And there's my HomePod right there. So I'm going to say the word, hey, turn off the overhead lights. Okay, that was pretty fast. And I'll update to HomePod OS 16.2 and I'll compare the speeds. Right, now I have version 16.2 on my HomePod and the home architecture is all done. Now let's say the words again. Hey, turn off the overhead lights. Okay, that was also pretty fast. I'm not 100% sure, but let's compare it right So now. the winner of the Siri light test goes to the new home architecture. They earn one point, and let's move on to the next. All right, my next test is to turn on multiple devices at the same time. So, hey, turn on the overhead lights and the light strip. Will's room. Okay, that was also pretty fast. We'll see how much faster it is when I update to HomePod OS once again. I got my HomePod updated and the new home architecture. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Hey, turn on the overhead lights and the light strip in Will's room. Okay, the Will's room lights are on. The light strip is not responding. Oh, so we already have a little problem right there. So this is why I would not update, if you, especially if you have some Miros devices. So my light bulb up there is a nano leaf bulb. They're both nano leaf bulbs in there. But my light strip is a Miros bulb. So I would hold off on, on updating to the new home architecture until, for a little bit, because my light strip and my lamp and dust light have not been responding lately, ever since I've updated. So don't update if you especially have- okay, Next up is the iPad test. So I'm gonna be turning off the light strip and then I'm gonna do it in three, two, one. And you can see it turns off like that. Now I'm gonna do the same with the overhead lights in three, two, one. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, both of those were pretty fast. And once again, I'm gonna compare it. Right. I'm gonna do the iPad test again, but unfortunately I can only do it with the overhead lights since my Miros devices don't like working with this new architecture. So I'm gonna do it in three, two, one. Very fast, there's like no reason to update. So both the old architecture and the new architecture, it's tied. I don't know, update because of the Miros problems. I've also been seeing that things have been a lot more unreliable lately. So this is a good reason not to update as of right now. I know Apple will probably resolve all these issues. I'm not sure what exactly is faster. It feels exactly the same to me, except it just causes a lot more problems. So that may be a good indication for you to not update. But I know a lot of people have been having better experience with it than me so in conclusion just don't update thanks for watching comment like subscribe share this with your friends and i'll see you in my next video bye